Hi, this is Akshara Gosarkar. And this is Diya Sharma. We both study in 9th Standard Real Academy Dombivli branch and we had participated in the Diwali Science Marathon and we bagged the third prize. So our topic was blood circulation in the cardiovascular. Okay, so the first question after hearing this thing is that what is cardiovascular? That is heart. What is heart? A hollow organ which pumps the blood through the circulatory system in rhythm, contraction and dilation is known as heart. It is uh, in the vertebrates there are four chambers, two atrium and two ventricles. So let's learn about what the heart basically does. So the heart is the only organ which pushes the blood from uh, to the brain and the extremites and it transports the oxygen poor blood from the brain and extremites to the lungs to gain more oxygen. So our heart has four chambers in it, the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. So after circulating throughout our body, our blood reaches to our heart and then it goes to the superior vena cava and then goes to the right atrium and then the right ventricle. As Akshara said that the blood from the super vena cava enters into the right atrium and the right ventricle, it does not enter to the left side of the heart that is left atrium or the left ventricle. It goes out to the left pulmonary arteries. Where does it goes out? Isn't it concerning? It goes into the lung. There it gets rid of the waste and picks up more oxygen, come back to the heart from the aorta to it, it enters into the left arterium to which it enters into the left ventricle from which it goes out of the heart, take a hold on to the body, supplies everywhere the blood and the oxygenated blood to the body tissues and etc. And then this process continues. So this was about the circulation of blood. Let's learn about some heart diseases. As we all know that after a certain period of time, if precautions have not been taken, we might suffer from various diseases. So our heart can also get damaged and it can also cause us to get suffered from diseases. So various heart diseases are, are like a heart stroke, heart failure, heart attack, heart blockage, next heart, valve complications etc so let's learn about some common heart diseases okay so first let's know about the three types of the heart blockages so the first one is the first term heart blockage the second one is second degree heart blockage third one is third degree or complete heart blockage this range is from mild to severe so what is basically heart blockage Heart blockage, also known as the AVP blockage, occurs mainly when the heart, uh, the electrical signal which controls our heart beats gets completely or partially blocked. So what happens exactly? If we look over at any kind of blood vessel, for example this blood vessel, if we have high blood pressure or high cholesterol levels, blood clots form in the blood vessels which obstructs the path of uh, our blood which can slow down its flow and uh, it can get hard for the circulation of blood and then as well as it can make our heartbeat skip. So the main symptoms which we can see in most of the patients are dizziness, fainting and shortness of breath etc. So now let us talk about the Mediterranean diet. So the most common disease is heart attack. What is heart attack? There are three stages of the heart attack and we know that in the first two stages it's like a warning to you that you should take care of yourself or else the third time when the heart attack comes you die no matter what. So what is heart attack? What is the definition of the heart attack? Let us know about this. The heart attack is when the blood clot take place into the blood vessel of a heart it does not allow the circulation of blood through the blood vessel which doesn't allow the blood tissue to get an oxygenated blood and as a result the body tissues die. So let's learn about what we can do to prevent these heart diseases. So there are certain precautions which we can take to prevent these. 
for example uh, we should never consume alcohol tobacco products we should quit smoking if you are smoking next we have to be physically active we should have a hearty healthy diet that is the mediterranean diet if possible next we have to manage our stress level next we have to get a quality time for sleeping we have to regular checkups on cholesterol levels if you have high blood pressure then you have to check your blood pressure levels next the uh, type 2 diabetes next you have to take steps to prevent infections as well by taking vaccines like uh, covid-19 vaccine flu vaccine tdap vaccine etc okay so let us now understand what is the mediterranean diet what is it is it possible to follow mediterranean diet in india so the answer is no this is actually is originated from mediterranean desert from there it has originated and it is only available there why because the fruits like avocado etc are only available there not in india so let us know about what actually the mediterranean diet does it emphasizes the plant based food and unhealthy fats also let us know about that what actually how to actually follow the mediterranean diet you need a dietitian which should know your medical history as if she or he knows your medical history they will give you the beneficial diet plan which will for sure cure you or prevent you from the heart diseases so let's see the mechanism of the heart here is the vein and here is the artery yes the red one is the artery and the blue one is the vein now let's see how this gonna work okay so this is a normal stage of this blood vessels now let's see how it gonna work so now i'm going to apply some pressure and just focus on this injection as you see slowly gradually this gets filled up so now that's how actually the vein one work now let's see about the artery so in the artery i'm going to apply pressure from here and focus on this injection so as you saw this normal injection got this much gap between it means it got pressed behind so at a point this will get filled with the this much amount of blood only even though this is liquid we will assume it as blood and this amount of blood will be here so that's how actually the mechanism of the heart is but let's revise the thing that i told you before now as you see here as i told that the blood enters into the heart from the superior vena cava it enters from here and enters into the right atrium from which it goes into the right ventricle and then goes out from the left pulmonary arteries and after going out into the lungs it come back from the lung from the aorta and enters into the left atrium and then to the left ventricle and moves out of the heart hope you liked our view upon this topic i would like to thank real academy for arranging this diwali science marathon cuz it has educated us and it was really informative please vote for us if you liked our video thank you